Well, well, well. It is I, the quintessential drunk muffin. Hobo. I did something to your girlfriend. I, I wish I had my girlfriend here. Tom. Oh, wait. That didn't go as well as I thought it was. Oh, wait. Darn, I have to stop these practices when the camera's rolling. Hello, folks. I am the one, the only. I am Hobo Tom. I'm here to talk about some SmackDown. Because, wow, was it a downer of a first 10 minutes? Everything else made up for it, though. Let's give a little shout out. Dusty Muffler. You, sir. This is going to be a Nikki heavy episode. Because you, sir, told Nikki Cross to take it all off. And Jack Bauer, you're my tag team partner. Whoa. And that was an interesting SmackDown that started off really bad. Um, so let's get into it. And then I'll get a little bit about what's happening next week. This next week is a little odd. That's okay. Being odd is okay. It starts off. We find Elias was hit by a car. Oh, no. Wait a second. Vince, this is a terrible time for a cop angle. Okay, all you have to do is take a look at what's happening in Minnesota. Even though they're just rioting up in Minnesota. I mean, what would you write about in Minnesota? That's weird. I should say, Dan, what is there to loot in Minnesota? Besides, like, Super Target. And eventually I need a, a new chair because this chair is getting, like, ultra squeaky. Uh, so a lot of this was hit by a car. And Jeff Hardy was smelling of alcohol found in a car. That's not good. And then we see AJ Styles sign with Daniel Bryan. He says, like, ha, 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 I just got myself a pie. Daniel Bryan's like, I want to work for it. This chair is way too squeaky. I don't think this... How, why isn't this chair that squeaky? That chair doesn't go down as nice as, nice as this. And I'm going to have to get one of those, like, Hundred dollar gamer chair or something one day. Oh, and also it was a red wine and pizza Friday. If you can tell, it's all gone. So I need some hydrating fluid in my system keep me up a little bit. So I have a lot to do tomorrow for some reason. Ah, there we go. It just sounds like yes. I have a buy. I mean, that was going to be a squash match between him and Elias anyway. Uh, Daniel Bryan versus Jeff Hardy would have been a little bit more interesting, but Daniel Bryan's like, no, I'm going to fight for it. So they did, because there's a battle royal. We have Lindsay Dorado, Drew Gulak, Ren Malik, Dolph Ziggler, Baron Corbin, Cesaro, Shinsuke Nakamura, Shori G, Jay Uso, and Sheamus. Uh-oh, I just gave away. It was weird, because they went to commercial, and they came back, and all ten of these men were in the ring. Uh-oh. I'll go over that list again. First off, actually pretty fun. Uh, a Lucha House Party. They're still amazing. Again, for the most part, it's a battle royal. It's just a big smosh. So that's okay, though. Um, Lucha House Party, they did their shoulder splash. It was pretty cool. Cesaro was just amazing. He, like, gorilla pressed. I want to say it was Dolph Ziggler. Literally pressed him. Yeah. And almost threw him out. Um, Dolph was funny because Dolph and Baron Corbin. Dolph T's throwing out Baron Corbin. 
It's like, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I was just joking around. Oh, I wonder if the bar, 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 bar. The reformed Jimmy Uso was there, but not Jimmy Uso. I think Scuttlebutt is Jimmy Uso hurt himself. That's not good. As long as he hurt himself, then I should really attach this more. There we go, so you can hear me a little bit better. Yes, it's been one of those Fridays. I'm just happy I lost six puns at the gym this week. I'm a happy man. It was pretty fun. Um, Jay Uso was there. Super kick party! Uh, the order of eliminations, if you did not catch it the first time. Lindsay Dorado first got eliminated, then Drew Gulak. Then Grand Metal League, and now Dolph Ziggler got the out. Baron Corbin quickly followed. Followed by Cesaro. And then Shinsuke Nakamura. Susie. And then Shorty G. And finally Jey Uso to leave the winner by Bro Kick. Dude, weird science is the best. Yep. Weird science. Is best science. <laughs> oh, yeah, caramel. Or rose. Where's that symbol for the. I don't have that symbol up here. I'll make my symbol. I need to give you a rub down. There we go. Sorry for that interruption, folks. Always important to pay attention to the to the needs and desires of your woman. I think I have. Do I still have that on my cell phone? Caramel. Oh, good. I know what I'm going to have for dessert. Actually, I'm going to have rice pudding for dessert. So, yeah, let's see here. How to go? No, no. I have to get rid of some of these pictures one day. Strawberry cheesecake. The best beer looking ever. Book. I can delete that. I got that. Delete. Delete. Let's see. Bar. My cat. El Bandito. Cardinal. Hey! Ooh, uh, excuse me. Coronavirus. I have to read that message. Do I have a picture of her? I know it's on my computer. It's awesome. Kong. Birch. Bo Jamie. Oh, there we go. Ha. Always and forever, baby. It's always good to show that picture off. Every so often when I can. What did she say anyway? Messages to LOL. Like last time. I think I got a few out. Oh, and she likes caramels, by the way. She means more rosé stuff for me. Uh, so that's okay. Um, so, yep, so that was the, so previously about wrestling, that was the or of elimination. Seamus wins by Bro Kick. Seamus gets the face. Yes, 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 yes. Daniel O'Brien. For his belt. Um, and Sonya cuts a promo. Uh, Lacey Evans is in the back. Sonya Deville, be very careful. Um, we'll get to that match later. Shorty G then was fighting Cesaro because Cesaro will make Shorty G by most means foul. Um, he kind of cheated to get Shorty G eliminated. That's, I'm okay with that, whatever. They're going to have a match later. Then we have Lacey Evans versus. Boo, Sonya Deville. Boo. I will always boo Sonya Deville. 
Boo, Sonya, boo, Undertaker, Sonya Deville. Boo, delete Sonya Deville. All of that stuff. Delete Sonya Deville. Delete Sonya Deville. Delete Sonya Deville. She's wearing that weird, like, Undertaker jacket. And this time you can actually see the tattoo. And that's the only way I recognized who she was at the one match. It's seriously. Yeah, T Rex. Well, good night. Good night. I'll give her a kiss. Sleepy sign. There we go. Just don't dream in DOS. So Sonya Deville came out. She looked like she wore something from like Broken Matt Hardy or The Undertaker. She raided their locker rooms. Listen, I know you used to play for the other team, but still, should not be going in the men's locker room. So off really great. It was an amateur wrestling match. It was really fun. Lacey Evans starts on the referee's position. Whoa, two point reversal for Lacey Evans. That was great. I love it already. Oh, oh wait a second. Um, yeah, let's put it at the end, but that battle royale, eh, it is all battle royals is a ham sandwich. Ooh, um, this match, I got excited for some reason. Uh, then there was the, the gator roll. That's always good to see the outside. Then Evans just starts to beat up. But before that, there was a hair toss. Yeah, whatever. Oh no. Yeah. There was a hair toss by Evans. Into the corner, whatever. Uh, Lacey Evans to the gator roll and to the apron and started hockey punching away on Sonya Deville, which she could not see. That was also very good to see. I like that. But then they got to a 10 count. And wow, that's not good. That means nobody wins. That's not good. Most toast <laughs> to hoss. Make people. Yep. That's me. Winky eye. But they got to a 10 count. Nobody wins. We got to fill the dust. The hit is, baby. I mean, it's because they did so much good old school wrestling. Again, if you're going to do collegiate style wrestling, I'll say it was a cheeseburger of a match. And eventually, I don't know, maybe I'll cheer for Selena Deville. I doubt it, though. Oh, wait a second. This has to be a cheeseburger match because this was much better than the first match I saw them. God, was that terrible. That was like the first toast match I ever gave out. Wow. They've come far. Ladies, I'll clap for you for that. Then we have a Forgotten Sons promo. Yeah, I forgot what they said already. Uh, Nikki Cross... And Alexa Bliss got surprised, but New Day Nikki is way too excited. But Nikki is just, Nikki is, oh, it's the best. Then we have the moment of bliss. Featuring the New Day Rocks. New Day Rocks. And he, even Nikki was doing some hip thrusting there. Oh, Nikki. You have to save some of that hip thrusting for a big demo. Then Bailey and, and Sasha Bosch came out. Sasha started to strip, and I got excited. So then, of course, when Sasha strips, Alexa, um, Nikki Cross goes bonkers. And we have a match between Alexa Bliss and Sasha Bosch. Banks. Um, this was actually pretty good. It was also pretty short. <laughs> it's also pretty short, too. It's about relative most of the time. I'll tell you what, Nikki Cross and commentary made this match so so much better. The interaction between Nikki Cross 
and Bailey, both separated by poor Michael Cole and Corey Graves. Again, Nikki Cross being on Michael Cole, the face side, whereas Bailey being the heel sitting next to um, Corey Graves. Oh, wow, this was good stuff. Uh, Alexa starts off. She, she did a pretty good judo throw. And you start doing judo and, and amateur wrestling. I will clap for you. Uh, Sasha actually didn't look too bad. Um, and those slaps. Ooch. That looks like it hurt. Uh, again. And then Sasha Banks lures Alexa Bliss into the corner. She posted poor Alexa Bliss. Ouch, that hurt. And eventually Alexa Bliss came back with a slap of her own. That's always good to see. Or fight back. Nikki Cross then went from like sitting down to like kneeling on the table. And finally just standing up to the table. And Bailey was going to treat her like cat. She's like, hey, what are you squirt her with? It's like, get her off the table. Nikki Cross was going absolutely bonkers. Oh, I forgot to say from the last match that, that, that Sonya Neville is becoming unzipped. One day Sonya Neville is going to have that wardrobe malfunction. I'll be there to see that. Because she's showing her tattoo prominently. I remember seeing at the gym. It's a big cross with writing. So again, the uh, long, story short, long story short, I saw her and I saw a black haired woman and a blonde haired woman at the gym. I saw this really prominent tattoo. Both look kind of fit. Turned out later that, yeah, I saw that same tattoo like in the ring at an NXT event in Daytona Beach. Whoa. I should have said something. I could have gotten a, a picture or autograph. But that's when they were like zeros and like no one knew who they were. And people would rather text on their phone. They would rather use this device than actually watch them wrestle. And I didn't blame them because that match was terrible. Like when like they look visibly confused and like say, hit me. Yeah, it was that bad. Again, you can go back to my videos. I forget where that is somewhere. I'm sure I have it archived somewhere, though. But then, um, so, uh, so Alexa had to slap. Sasha hit the Meteora and the double knees. And then she hit the, the, the shining, reverse shining wizard. Oh, wow. And then the sunset flip on Alexa Bliss. And Sasha got the one, two, three. That was incredible. Sasha Banks won. I'll tell you what, Nikki Cross made this match way more interesting than it probably should have been. This is a cheeseburger match. Then we had, um, I think, Cesaro and Shory G. This was actually pretty decent. Uh, Shory G, again, a little bit lighter, goes up. For the kicks and the sunset flip and moonsault. And he starts to work over the knee of Cesaro, which is a smart thing. If you're going to take on a bigger guy, always work over their knees. However, Cesaro is just too strong for poor Troy G. Gut wrench suplex. Uh, and then the power bomb by Cesaro, that was great. It was a belly to back reversal to the ankle lock. And then there was. Then Cesaro did his own roll-up to a crucifix. Shory G then hit his own roll-up. This was a pretty short match. Um, there was a little back and forth. Again, once Shory G hit that roll-up, after about seven minutes, he knew the match would be over. Shory G won. Redeems himself a little bit. It was okay. It was a ham sandwich of a match. And then we have Mandy and Otis. Oh my god, this is terrible. Oh. Mandy says she's going to take a nap. And it turns into a soft core porn sequence. And then she came crashing back into reality when Otis hit the cannonball, splashed water all over her. Oh my god, Mandy Rose's ass is so amazing. Actually, it's not really anything great. Her, her chest is more impressive. But... Yeah, this is 
Getting cringeworthy. On the Kurt Angle. Bro. Guess who's coming to SmackDown? Bro. Matt Riddle. Bro. And wow, my eyes did that way too naturally. So, yep. Uh, Kurt Angle did. Again, he talked a little bit about how they're going to. How Randall Orton and Christian and Edge. I'm sorry, Edge. We're going to have their great wrestling match June 14th. I finally figured out that date. Because then the 6th is going to be at your house or at your or behind your house by NXT. I have to think if I'm going to watch that. I have no idea. I know I'm working that night, 12 to 8. Their pay-per-views typically start at 7 and by 9.30. Uh, I don't know if I feel like rushing home for it or just watch the highlights of it. Or watch the next day. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, that'll be interesting. And then Kayla was back uh, with Sheamus. Uh, Sheamus confronts Daniel Bryan. And Daniel Bryan just kicks him in the shins. Such a cool kid move to do. And this leads to our final match of the evening. And we have Dan in the main event in this corner. We have from Washington, Aberdeen, Washington, Daniel Bryan. And in this corner, from somewhere in Ireland, the Celtic warrior, Seamus. So this was actually pretty fun. I'm glad that it was longer than the 18 seconds they had in WrestleMania, even though Sheamus did reference that. Uh, Sheamus did a headlock takedown into armbar. Very classic wrestling by Sheamus. It's good to see that. Uh, Daniel Bryan also works over the arms of Sheamus. Uh, Sheamus then delivers some big elbows. He does the clubbing blows. They go to the outside and in front of the mic. It's like, oh, this is longer than the 18 seconds you had at WrestleMania. Whoa. Sheamus. Tranquilo there, buddy. Um, and Sheamus hits again. Anyone who does a double axe handle smash, I'm always going to cheer for because it's such a classic move. Even if it does break my camera, that's okay. The double axe handle is worthy of breaking my camera's imaging system. Um, then Jeff Hardy like shows up ringside. He distracts Sheamus. Daniel Bryan hits the knee plus onto Sheamus. Daniel Bryan picks up the one, two, three, and wins the match. Then Jeff Hardy beats Jump Sheamus. Wow, was, was Jeff Hardy framed? Or was Jeff Hardy go, thinking back to his TNT days when they had to throw up the, the ever dreaded oh, over the one match? You know, you never know. Uh, and that was, and I'll tell you what, that match, that was fun. It was a good cheeseburger match. Nothing really stood out great in this. I suffered the scene very quick once they got through the opening. The opening segment, the 10 minutes, felt like, it, like an hour. Everything else after that, kind of the pace picked up and kind of, Went right through it. That's good. So this was a free. This was a decent. Yeah, cheeseburger raw. And that was it. That was SmackDown. That was wrestling for this week. A most intriguing week of pro wrestling, I think. Um, kind of a letdown. This week, WWE was. I don't know. Impact might have been the best thing going on this week. That's weird. And then next week, um, I'm off tomorrow. I'm off Sunday. Monday is going to be a regular Monday Night Raw. Tuesday, live stream Impact. Back to Soup Day. Wednesday, it's going to be the AEW review. Hopefully, it's better than the after show. I you see they were. I just think they had, like, the after effects. They were like, oh, it was like the hangover show. Thursday, 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 Thursday. 
I might do a predictions show. Either it's, this is, it's not going to be me. It's either going to be El Vagabundo Hobo Vente Cinco or Dr. Tom. I don't know what's going to happen that day. Friday's another SmackDown day. Saturday? We'll see. I'm scheduled to work until 8. However, I typically get out at 7 because we close at 7. I typically get out at 7.30. It's not like I'd be missing much. I mean, we'll play Saturday by year. I may or may not do a reaction show. I still have to wait. I actually have to wait till I get my freaking contacts. My new contacts. So I have to get those in June sometime. God, that's going to be such a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, June sometime I get my contacts. August is when I pay. No, July. I might get a computer in July. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see everyone next week. Bye, folks.